I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. He's a bully. I've dealt with older white guys trying to keep me down my whole life, my whole career. I'm a woman in a very male-dominated field. Uh, I love what I do. I love making people laugh more than anything in the world. And I have learned over the years that sometimes when you do stand-up, and I've done it in a war zone, and I've done it at Walter Reed Hospital, and I've done it at Carnegie Hall, sometimes people want you know a joke that's out there and a little crazy. Regarding the image that I participated in, that apology absolutely stands. I feel horrible. I have performed in war zones. The idea that this, you know, uh, made people think of this tragedy, to have been touched by this tragedy, is, is horrifying and it's horrible. Uh, trust me, if I could redo the whole thing, I would have had a blow-up doll and no ketchup. You know, I make mistakes. I'm an out-there comedian. I'm an in-your-face comedian. What's happening to me has never happened, ever, in the history of this great country, which is that a sitting president of the United States and his grown children and the first lady are personally, I feel, personally, trying to ruin my life forever, forever. I, you guys know him, he's never gonna stop. The death threats that I'm getting are constant and they are detailed and they're serious and they're specific. And today it's me and tomorrow it could be you. I believe so passionately about this if I don't stand up and say this, I'm afraid there's going to be some 12-year-old nerdy girl like me in Forest Park, Illinois, who's going to maybe be watching me to see what I do. And this bully and these, this president, of all people, is going to come after me? He picked the wrong redhead. I've made fun of W. I made fun of Clinton. Oh, God, remember the Monica dress days? Those were the days. You could make dress <laughs> jokes all day long, and nobody tried to kill you. You shouldn't have to die for this. I'm under a Secret Service investigation. And the first family did not come after you with any of the other presidents. You know, it is yes. so unpresidential for and, them to and respond I, I to a I get what I, I get what I am. I'm the shiny object. I get it. We all know what's going on here. They're using me as the shiny object so that nobody's talking about his FBI investigation. All right? I get it. I'm 56 years old. I'm 110 pounds wet. <laughs> I've had everybody turn on me, and I just want to make people laugh. That's all I want to do. I'm not laying down for this guy. I'm going to make fun of him. I'm going to make jokes about him and the housewives and Kardashians. But, <laughs> you know, he does provide a lot of material. I mean, you've got to be honest. He really, it's a good time to be a comedian. It's scary to be a citizen, but it's a good time to be a comedian.